Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my all-time favorite new adult romance books I recently did a video on my channel talking about my favorite young adult romance books And I asked you guys if you'd like to see a follow-up video Talking about new adult books and I got such a strong response back that I should so that's what today's video is going to be I have 10 books to share with you guys some of them I have talked about on my channel and recommended before but perhaps some of them you've maybe never heard of or you never heard me talk about so I'm just gonna get into it I'm gonna share the synopsis of all the books with you guys and let's get started the first book that I'm gonna recommend to you guys is Lost and Found by Nicole Williams I do want to point out that this is actually a series and a lot of the books that I'll be mentioning in this video are indeed series I'll mention it if they are but um this one is a series this book follows a girl named Rowan who for the past couple of years of her life she's just been nothing but trouble been partying been with a bunch of boys just doesn't really have her life together but her dream is to pursue art school her mother doesn't think she's ready for art school she doesn't think she's mature enough and she wants to send her away for the summer to prove herself and to make some money so she sends her to her friend's farm who lives in Montana and at this farm she meets this boy Jesse he's like mr. hospitality super adorable like cowboy type um, and they meet and they have this instant connection, but they're so different from each other This book is really interesting because you often see like the good girl bad boy trope But this is more like bad girl good boy And I really liked the book for that reason and I just thought it was such an adorable story and it's one of my favorites So that's a really good one I've read the rest of the series as well and it's a really good series too so you could read the other books But that's the first one on my list the next book on my list is one that if you've been following me for a really long time you may remember as my favorite book of all time um, and that is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This was one of the first new adult books that I had ever read and I completely fell in love with it when I read it. I will say that I haven't picked it up in quite some time so it's a little bit foggy but I do obviously still really love the book and it was one of my favorites a few years ago. Uh, this book is about a girl named Abby who was in college and she meets this boy named Travis who's like an underground fighter, super tough, super like good with the ladies, always with girls. The two really don't get along, but Travis does really have this like infatuation with her. So one day they just decide to make this bet that if Abby wins, Travis has to stay abstinent for a month, but if Travis wins, then Abby has to live with him at his apartment for a month. There's a lot of really great romance in this book, but there's also a little bit of action, so it's a really good mix of both, and it makes for a super fun story. So this is like one of the OG new adult books, and it is one of my favorites, so I definitely recommend it if you haven't read that one yet. I feel like I can't do a new adult recommendations video without mentioning Colleen Hoover. I know that not everybody loves Colleen Hoover. She's not everybody's cup of tea but I have been a fan for her for quite some time and there are some of her new adult books that I actually really still do enjoy and I just wanted to recommend two of them to you two of my favorites um, and that is hopeless and it ends with us personally I feel like Colleen Hoover's books are so crazy and like over the top and the descriptions that you kind of get on like the back of a book really don't even delve into what her stories are about and you really don't even get that much from them so I don't really want to share too too much about what these books are about but I can tell you that Hopeless follows this girl named Skye who meets this boy named Holder who is nothing but trouble and he unveils a lot of crazy stuff about his past which makes her find out stuff about her past and there's just a lot of drama in that one and then it ends with us is also a really great story super powerful and moving um, and it also deals with domestic abuse so I just thought I would throw that out there for any of you guys that want to know that trigger warning but it is a super intense book but it's so so good and I love it so much so those are two of Colleen Hoover's books that I really recommend um, I have a whole video talking about all of her other books if you are curious to know more of them so I will have that linked down below I'm sure some of you guys are sick of me talking about this next book but I will never be sick of talking about this book and that is After by Anna Todd. Um, either you've been watching my videos about the After movie or you've been scrolling past them every single time I've posted one um, because I've been making so many videos about this book because it is getting turned into a movie. After was originally a fan fiction but I would qualify it as new adult as it is a book about kids that are in college and it does contain sexual content so I would consider it a new adult but if you don't know after follows this girl named Tessa 
who is a freshman in college just entering and she's like super shy and reserved but she's also very like type A, super organized, super about school. She has this boyfriend from back home and when she gets to college she goes into her dorm room and her roommate is this crazy girl with like red hair and she has all these friends with piercings and tattoos and one of her friends is Hardin Scott who she meets and he is such a bad boy, such a player and they start to maybe talk and have feelings for each other and maybe some stuff happens. But yeah, After is also a series and it's just so super drama packed and intense. Um, I would really recommend it, especially because the movie is coming out, so you could possibly read it before seeing the movie on April 12th. So that's a really exciting one, one of my favorites. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already read it, because I know a lot of the people that watch my videos are fans of After, but I thought I would just throw it in the video, because it is one of my favorites. The next book I'm recommending is Find You in the Dark by A. Meredith Walters. This is a really great one. This is also, I believe, either a series or a duology. I know there's more than one book, but this is a super gripping story about this boy with a severely troubled past and the girl that tries to save him um, and their romantic relationship. I will say trigger warning for like depression and suicide. It's a super dark and intense story but if you can handle that I think it's a really good one and it's a great new adult book. I really love that one. I feel like a lot of new adult books are super surface and just about like sex and stuff like that but I feel as though this book actually dives into some more serious topics and for that reason I'm a really big fan of it and I also really like a Meredith Walters writing so this is a really good one kind of underrated I haven't heard a ton of people talk about this book slash series but it's definitely one of my favorites you guys probably figure I can't go through a whole new adult recommendations video without mentioning Miss Abby Glines Abby Glines has so many fantastic new adult books but I'm going to talk about two particular series by her that I'm a huge fan of the first one is the Seabreeze series which you've probably heard me talk about countless times on my channel this is such a wonderful series. It is a companion novel series of, I believe, nine books. So there are nine books about nine different couples. So it's really an endless series. There's so much reading you can do, but it's just so fun, so fast-paced. The books read like a movie, like they're that fast-paced to me and so easy to read and just drama-filled and romance-filled. Obviously, each book follows a different couple, so they're all gonna have different plots. The first book in the series is about this girl who starts working at a mansion in her small town once her mother becomes pregnant and can't attend to her job anymore. And she starts working at this mansion, kind of doing behind the scenes stuff, and she comes to realize that it is a celebrity's home, and he stays in this little place in Alabama over the summers. Um, and he's like a huge celebrity. You could kind of think like Justin Bieber or like Harry Styles type of celebrity. Um, and she's working for him, and and obviously stuff's gonna happen with that um, but each book follows a different couple and there's so many good couples in this series I absolutely love it so I recommend checking out all of those books the other series by Abby Glines that I wanted to mention was her sweet little thing series which is kind of one of her newer series that I recently read and fell in love with this series follows a girl named Beulah who starts working at this house once her mother passes away as a way to kind of gain income and support her sister who has Down syndrome who's living in like a home um, and she has to pay for that so she works at this house as like a maid she's been working for this woman in the house but then her son comes home who's like the actual owner of the house I guess and he's like the same age as Beulah and he's kind of difficult kind of like a stuck-up rich kid but she kind of begins to fall for him and this series took like such an unexpected turn and it was just like so crazy. I will tell you the first and second book both end in crazy cliffhangers, so be prepared for that. But this series was so, so good. I absolutely loved it. I will say that it was a little bit more explicit than some other new adult or even just Abby Glines books. There was kind of a lot of sex scenes in it, but I still really enjoyed it. I thought the story was good and it was super like surprising and crazy. So it was a really good one. The next book on my list is Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. This is another book that I've been a fan of for such a long time. I absolutely love this one. It follows this girl named Mia who moves across the country when her father passes away so that she can take care of his coffee shop that he owned in New York City and kind of live in the apartment above it. 
Um, and once arriving there, she meets this guy named Will, who she later becomes roommates with, and then they kind of have to navigate that whole situation. Um, obviously, some type of romance sparks from that, but I will say it's a really, really great book, super fun, has a lot of musical elements to it because they're both musicians, and I just really enjoyed this one. It's a great pick. And the last book that I'm going to be talking about today is Easy by Tamara Weber. This is such a fantastic book. I do believe that it's a series. I think there's only like a second book that I didn't really like, but the first book is like so worth it and just amazing. Um, it's about this boy and this girl, obviously, and this guy has kind of always had this infatuation with the girl, not in a creepy way, but just kind of in a like, whom, like who is she kind of thing. And one night at a party, this girl is getting assaulted outside the party and he rescues her and saves her. And from that moment forward, they kind of develop this friendship and it's such a sweet book. You can kind of imagine it kind of like extends from there, from like this friendship. Um, but it's such a good book and has like so many wonderful messages, super like pro-feminism. I feel like in a lot of romance books you'll kind of find like super stereotypical tropes and not a lot of like girl power, but I felt like this book did have a lot of that, so that was really good and I absolutely love this one. If you're kind of scared to go into new adult because you don't think you're gonna like it because you've heard bad things about the genre, I feel like Easy is a good one to pick to start out with, so I really recommend it. It's such a phenomenal book. So guys, that is my list of my top 10 favorite new adult romance books. If you need more recommendations from me, if you've heard me talk about all these books and you've already read all of them let me know i can do a follow-up video talking about more of my favorite romance books you guys know i mostly read romance so i've always got recommendations for you guys but if you did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already thank you guys so so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye